Hi guys, it's Tanya from KT Book Reviews coming to you live, well not live because I'm recording this, from the floor of my office. <laughs> As you can see up here, some of the shelves are uh, empty. I'm doing a little redo and I've just kind of been working and putzing around and there's no makeup, there's no nothing. And it's been a hot minute since I've recorded anything um, for the blog and for um, our YouTube channel. But um, there's been a lot of things going on this year, a lot of changes, and um, I've been doing a lot of thinking of where the blog is going, um, what I'm doing with it, and how I'm going to change it. And for those of you who do not know and who are not part of our Book Babbler group, uh, co-blogger Kathy has stepped back from the blog. Um, she's got some health issues. If um, you would like to know more, there's a link um, about Kathy and how she's doing and everything in the bottom of the video. Also, if you are a book babbler or not part of our book babbler, which is a closed reading group, you can join us there and there's a little write up there all about that wonderful stuff. Um, and, and, and just to inform you, let you know what's going on. But, um, I just wanted to take a minute and, and let you know that one, first and foremost, I miss you guys. <laughs> I miss chatting back and forth. Um, like I said, it's been a minute. Um, Life gets busy, you know, everybody gets busy and sometimes books have to uh, pause and take a, uh, you know, a backseat a little bit. Um, I went on a vacation. I took some time off. I am currently, um, I just finished uh, my last written review for um, 2017. I will be taking a uh, break from reviewing. I'll still be reading because I have personal purchases and, and things that authors given me that they just kind of want a little bit of verbal feedback. On that I'll be doing but as far as a full-on for publishers for blog tour companies for NetGalley for you know Edelweiss and all that um, I will be pausing until 2018 I will not be doing any formal written reviews if I do it'll be something that I personally feel moved by that I feel like I need to share with everybody and I think um, that happens to a lot of book bloggers over time is that you do reach a little bit of a burnout um, of reading and reviewing and it, there's so many series out right now that I am uh, invested in that um, I'm almost scared to start a new series because I'm finding myself when a new book comes out from a beloved series that I really have to stop and think okay who is this who are the characters what's going on what what happened and there's just so many that it's not feasible for me to even have time to reread the last book so I have a refresher about what's going on. And, and like I said, I think that happens to a lot of book reviewers and bloggers. Um, you're inundated with so much and I, I love finding new authors and things like that. But I think when you're obligated to read, um, something happens and you lose, you lose a little bit. You know, you find yourself being repetitive in your reviews. I know I did to a certain extent where it was like I would you know, write a review and I'm regurgitating the same adjectives and adverbs. And I mean, now every reviewer has a certain catchphrase. There's certain, you just know it's their style. It's the way they speak, um, that kind of thing. But yeah, you know, it's like, I, I just need to take a break and cleanse the palate, so to speak. Um, but also I wanted to share a little something with you guys that I hadn't before. And, um, who knows this may, I, I think it reveals a little bit into the change is, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm heading towards where starting next year, more so than written reviews, it will now be video and verbal reviews that I'm doing. And, um, I feel the need to tell you why. <laughs> and if it helps somebody, great. If it doesn't, that's fine. But, um, I don't know. I, and it's not a way for me to justify it, but, um, I don't know. I, I, I think people need to know and take it as you will. Um, I am not editing this video, so this is what it is. So bear with me. Um, I am someone that, um, has dyslexia. It is a mild form of dyslexia. Um, my, I can read a book, I can love a book, and I can write a review about a book, and then I will spell things. I have never passed a spelling test in my entire student life, <laughs> from elementary school till I graduated. 
Um, it's just, I've always inverted, I've always changed things up, and you know, I've done okay, but it's something that I've always struggled with. Um, numbers, it, not so much writing it down, but if I read a number and I repeat it, I invariably will insert, you know, in, invert something. Um, but it's just something that I've always dealt with. Now, I will also tell you that I am the proud mother of an extremely bright <laughs> and incredibly smart child. She is in college and she is just, she's as sweet as she is kind, as she is smart, as she is humble, as she is bright. She's just, I can't say enough wonderful things about her. And this is a child that knows that I have always struggled. And um, it wasn't until a couple years into the blog where publishers started um, picking up things that, um, reviews that I've written and blurbing them in books. I'm very happy that we are, um, you know, nearing almost 100 books where we've been blurbed in. And that's that's a big deal for bloggers. That's how you get your name out there. Um, but submitting them, you know, and I did the obligatory spell check and all that, but that doesn't always, you know, get things. And I'm one of those people that I can read a review or something that I've written out loud five times. Read it out loud and I will still miss something or change something or not see something. So I have this kid of mine that literally will go through every single review that I have ever written <laughs> a couple years into the thing. Um, and she edits me. She checks me. She makes sure, mom, that's not how that goes. You, you flip this around. That's not, you know, because like I said, I will read it inside my brain and then I will read it out loud and I will still miss things up. <laughs> and it's something that I was embarrassed about for a long time. It's something that I hid for a long time. Um, you know, I was nervous when I had my daughter. I was nervous that she would have this. And, you know, fortunately, she's never had to battle with that. That That's not something that she's ever struggled with. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Is it a huge, massive thing? No. <laughs> is it something that I've always struggled with? Yes. And as I'm getting older and as things are changing and as the blog is becoming um, solely me as of right now, um, hopefully Kathy will, um, make her way back into it. That would be fantastic. You know, if, if her health stays great and she's able to, you know, feel that drive again, we, you know, the, her door is always propped open and she knows this and it would be great to have her in. But for right now and for the unforeseeable future, it is, you know, the K is Kathy, the T is Tanya, the K is on hiatus, and the T is struggling a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I wouldn't say struggling, and I say that in a jovial sense of things, is that, you know, it, when you're used to having a partner in crime and you don't, things, um, I'm posting things to keep a daily update on the blog, and a lot of it is tour companies you know, promotion packets and things like that, that, you know, easy cop and pay stuff. And it's moving away from what our blog originally intended to do and to be. And we had always said it's just two girls of a, a certain age that had opinions. We were seeing five-star reviews for books that we thought were not five-star worthy. And we would rate and we would just be really brutally honest. And then we realized, you know what? we're befriending these authors and we're, we're creating friendships and, and relationships within the, the book community. And we decided, you know what, we, we don't want to tear down a book. If we don't like a book, then we're not going to post a review. We want to be positive. We want to promote reading and we want to promote books and we want to promote fresh new authors. So we backed away from that, which I think a lot of bloggers do. You start off thinking one way and then you're like, wait a second. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to tear anybody down. I want to be honest, but I want to be kind. And um, I, I think that should always be a prevailing factor. And if you don't like something, you can always say, I don't like it, but I'm not going to blast it and rip it apart because I, I, I don't think that does. There's enough negativity. I don't ever need to add to that. You know, but like I said, it, it, you work, you learn more, you do more, you, you get better, you do better, um, all those kind of things. So yeah, we, we've kind of changed who we are and what we are, but a lot of our original content is, is no longer original, and I want to get back to that. I want to get back to promoting books that I've read, promoting authors that I've read and that I've loved and that um, I admire, and not just doing an obligatory post. Um, I, I do want to have set-aside days where this is new author days that, you know, I can honestly say I have not read this person, but they contacted me, and this is our, our new author information, it posts stuff about, you know, new people, maybe you might find it. But, um, 
I, I want to get back to promoting who and what I love as far as authors and books and, and move away from just promo, 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 because a lot of people know, but a lot of people don't. This is not a gig you get paid at. <laughs> you know, tour companies get paid to promote books, but as a book blogger, it's my personal time. Um, do we make some money off of this? Sure. It's through, I'll be honest, and most people know, it's Amazon links. We have links on our blog to a book, and you click the link, and if you purchase the book on Amazon, then we get a teeny tiny percentage. And when I say that, I mean maybe three to six cents a book. <laughs> so if I sell 10 books, I might get 30 to 60 cents. <laughs> so it's not a huge, you know, a huge thing. Yeah, does it help facilitate paying for giveaways that we do? Like I mentioned before, we have the Book Babblers group on Facebook and we try to do giveaways and that's what we use to purchase those books for our giveaways. Um, we have a lot of author friends that are very, very kind and will send us books or they will donate books and that's always great. But ultimately, it is a work of love and it's a work of love for an author and for, for reading in general and just spreading the love through romance and knowing that there's a happily ever after for someone somewhere, you know? So, but yeah, but going into next year, I think um, it's going to be more visual reviews. Um, it's going to be easier for me to maintain um, some regularity with posting and reviewing books. It is going to relieve, and although she says, Mom, don't worry about it, that's fine. But you do have that. It's like, I do want to be self-sufficient, <laughs> you know, in, in reviewing and, and putting up content. And I'll be honest, I, I like this format. Now, um, having said that, there's going to be days where the hair will be done and there'll be makeup on my face. And there's going to be days like today. Makeup free, people. <laughs> what you see is what you get. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll support Sophie. Sophie is my uh, cherry cloth bathrobe. I wear her on days where I just don't feel like being dressed and presentable. Sometimes it's just too peoply out there and I want to be me. So maybe that'll be it. But uh, anyway, this was long. This was uh, a bit rambling. <laughs> but thank you for indulging me. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being book babblers and followers of KT Book Reviews. Um, this is Thanksgiving week and I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday. If you are people here in the States or, or people that celebrate Thanksgiving, I wish you a warm and happy and family filled Thanksgiving. I wish you turkey. I wish you rum. <laughs> I wish you pumpkin pie. And, um, yeah, maybe there'll be something here between now and, and 2018, but, uh, if not, Take care. We love you. Happy holidays.